Namashivai student, today we are going to start um, revision work from chapter 8 and this is all about numericals from this chapter. So this is my first numerical calculus, the period of revolution of the Neptune around the sun. Uh, given the diameter, diameter will be given, uh, its orbit is 30 times the diameter of the earth orbit around the sun. Assume both the orbits are in circular. So according to the Kepler's third law of uh, motion, we know that, uh, that uh, Kepler, sorry, Kepler's third law, uh, we know that Tn square divided by T square, this one is the Neptune, for the Neptune is the time period and equals to Rn cube divided by Re cube. So here Tn square equals to T square into Rn by Re that whole cube. So 1 into 30 cube because 30 times is given. So Tn square equals to uh, 1 into root over of 30 square, 30 cube. So which is equivalent to 30 root 30, uh, one, uh, which is equivalent to 164.3 year. And next, this is question number two. Suppose there is uh, there exists a planet, planet that went around the sun twice as faster as the Earth. So, what would be the orbital size as compared to the Earth? So, here already given T P and T, which is denoted the time period of the planet and and the Earth respectively. So, R P and R E denote the corresponding orbital size, which is T P by uh, T P by T E that square tp square by t e square equals to rp cube by re cube so rp by re whole cube equals to tp by t e square which is rp by re equals to tp by t e whole uh, whole two third so tp equals to 1 by 2 t e which is equivalent to tp by t equals to half and rp by re equals to half that whole to power 2 by 3 which is equivalent to 0 0.63 this is equivalent to 0 0.63 now uh, a mass of 1 gram is separated from another mass of 1 gram by a distance of 1 centimeter. How long a uh, gram weight of force exists exist, uh, between them? So, F equals to G mm by R square. So, uh, we can put the value. So, 6.67 into the power minus 8 uh, into 1 into 1 divided by 1 square then. So, which is equivalent to 7 into the power minus 11. Uh, gram weight. Next, this is another sum. Sum number four to identical heavy spheres are separated by a distance ten times their radius. Ten times their radius. So, will an object place at a midpoint of the line which is joining their centers be in the stable equilibrium or unstable equilibrium? So, F L and F R. These are the two forces which is exerted on mass M lying at O by masses M lying on left and right. So here M, uh, what is the force? F L equals to M M, G M M by R square. Here R equals to X plus del X square. And for F R, this is G M M by R square or G M M by X minus uh, del X square. So here obviously F R is greater than F L because net force of uh, net force of mass m is towards right so hence it is equilibrium it is uh, unstable equilibrium is unstable uh, the acceleration due to gravity at a moon surface is 1.67 in uh, meter per second square so uh, if the radius of the moon is given 1.74 into above 6 meter then uh, calculate the mass of the moon so g equals to gm by r square and mass m equals to g r square by g so uh, the relation uh, the relation is true this is only for the r but for any heavenly body which is assumed to be spherical so here this one is capital g means the capital g means uh, here uh, m, uh, m equals to g this is small g r square divided by capital g so this is equivalent to small g is equivalent to 1.67 meter per second square capital g which is equivalent to 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square newton per meter square per kg square 
so mass of the moon m equals to what 1.67 into a, into 1.74 into a to the 6 that whole square and divided by 6.67 into a to the minus 11 so the mass of a spaceship is 1000 kg it is to be launched from the earth surface uh, uh, sorry this is another this is the answer and this is the another um, question the mass of a uh, spaceship is a uh, thousand kg it is to be launched from the earth surface out in free space so here um, g and r is uh, r g uh, and r the radius of r are the uh, the value of g and r and the radius of r are 10 meter per second square and 6.640 kilometer so w equals to 0 minus um, we have to find the work done so g mm by r so w equals to g mm by r or g r square into m by r so which is equal into m g r and uh, this is equals uh, we, after putting the values we get that this is 6.4 into 10 to the power 10 joule next uh, next topic is what will be the potential energy of the body of mass 67 kg at the distance of 6.6 uh, meter from the center of the earth. So here already given uh, the value of m is given mass of the earth and g is already given. So what is the gravitational potential b equals to minus gm by r. So it is equivalent into minus 1.6 uh, minus 6.1 into 10 to the 3 joule per kg. After putting the values, we get this one. This is uh, question number 8. Calculate the space uh, escape speed of the body from the solar system. So mass is given and separation of the earth from the sun is 1.5 into 10 to 11 meter. So what is the equation V equals to over GMM by R? So the, uh, we have to put the values and we will get that 4.214 10 to the power 4 meter per second. So which is equivalent to 42.17 kilometer per second. The escape speed for solar system is this is escape, ex, escape speed 42.17 kilometer per second. So this is the escape speed and 1 kilometer here 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meter we know that. So we have to convert this one because the answer is in kilometer 42.17 kilometer per second. So we uh, we have to find this one in kilometer per second but actually the answer is 4.217 into 10 power 4 meter per second. We have to convert this one in meter to kilometer. This is problem number 9. Estimate the size of a rocky sphere uh, with a density of 3 gram per centimeter cube from the surface of which you could clearly throw a golf ball um, and have it never back. I have it never back. So V is already given V equals to root over 2 gm by r. So after putting the values, we will get that 2 gm means 4, uh, 4 pi by divided by 3 r cube into rho. So here after cutting the uh, cutting all these values we get that uh, it is equivalent to root over 8 pi g rho by 3 into r. So r equals to v e uh, root over 3 8 pi g uh, 8 pi g rho. So after putting all the values we get that this is 40 to 7 72.6 meter or it is equivalent to 30.904 kilometer means this is converted into meter to kilometer so this is all about well to this numerical tomorrow i will going to start another uh, topic from uh, another chapter and which is all about numericals so thank you student for watching this video